So make sure you read this document before you watch the movie. I'm just going to highlight the main ideas of it. We have been saying for a while now that we are going to talk about inheritance and maybe some of you remember that. And we've been using some words kind of loosely that we are going to now tighten up with. And like all the documents, this has basic vocabulary that you should make sure that you understand and look at. And when we talk about inheritance, I'm going to just zoom down to the pictures, because when we talk about inheritance, these pictures are really helpful in knowing the relationship between one class and another class. So you see here that the student class is a person. If the arrow points up, that means that a student is a derived class from person. And from the reading, you know that that means that a student has everything that the person has and additional features to make him unique from a person. So they are two classes. You can call them a, a super class and a subclass. You can call it a parent and child class. You can call it the main class and the derived class. Lots of different ways. Every book that you look in will say it's something different. So this is just a nice picture representation. So the clouds in this particular document represent classes and then in boxes there are specific instances of those classes, objects. So Albert Einstein is a student object. Monte Vista, you can tell who wrote these notes, Monte Vista is a high school student object, but a high school student object is a student object. So you could say that Monte Vista is both a high school student and a student. And the same thing with Lynn Brooke. We need a Sarah Toga. We have always been using inheritance. We just didn't really know it. Java defines the object class and every class that we have derived has been a child class of object. So here you can see a more elaborate cloud picture of the classes that we were talking about above. Person actually is a child class of object. You could say that person is derived from object. That would also be a correct thing to say. But a person can be a principal or a student or a teacher. Each one of those is a person, but they have their own unique qualities. And when I say unique qualities, what I am talking about usually is private data members and their own methods in addition to what a person would need. But a student could also be two different kinds. You could be a high school student and you could be a college student. It means different things to be different kinds of students. So let's look at person. A person is a, an object that has three private data members, my name, my age, and my gender, a string, an int, and a string. It has a constructor that takes all three parameters and sets them, just like you would expect. And it has three getters and three setters and a two-string, and that's all it means to be a person. Now we want to make a subclass of person, and we want to call it student. So here's the syntax, public class student extends person. And then this seems like it only has two private data members, but it really also has the three above from person, because in addition to a person, it has a string that's my ID number and a double that is a GPA. So some syntax to pay attention to in the constructor of student. A student has five private data members, so you, if you would like a constructor that assigns all five, you need to give it five instead of just two. And then there's specific syntax to say, hey, I want my student to be just like its parent class a person. I want to call the constructor in the parent class and pass it name, age, and gender. And however it is defined in the parent class, I want it to be defined the same way. You don't make a student class a derived class of person unless you want them to act the same way. 
So that takes care of three of the five. What are the two new ones? My ID number and my GPA, and therefore those are assigned afterwards. It is actually really important to make sure in the constructor that if you use super like this, you have to do that first, and that's true only in the constructor. And we'll definitely talk more about that later. And then it has its own getters and setters. Okay, and now we have the driver class. It's not very big, so we have it right here. And we have a high school, and we have public static void main, and then we have a person and a student, both, that's going to be used. And Bob and Lynn. Bob is a new person, and it is past, Bob is past three parameters. Lynn is a new student, and she is past five parameters. And toString is defined in both classes, as we saw above. And so a student and a person both know how to print themselves out. So when we ask them to print them out. Method overriding is only used when you are talking about inheritance. And when we talk about overriding, we talk about a child class overriding a method derived in the parent class. You want your child class to do more. You want it to have different features than its parent. And so you define the same method, but it might mean different things. And so what's important to know is that an object will use its own method. So going back up to this larger diagram with many derived classes, each one of them might have a method that is derived that is the same as other ones. A high school student maybe has its own two string and we'll just use that since that's the best example. A high school student might have its own, own two string and then a student might have its own two string and a person has its own two string. We know an object does not have its own two string but all of these classes right here may have their own so how do you know which one is called? Well, it's simple, actually. If you have a college student it and college student has a two-string, its two-string is called, not the student classes. Now the same thing goes if a college student doesn't have a two-string, but you ask it to print itself out. If the parent class has a two-string defined, then, it, then the college student will use its parents. That's all for today.